when one conserves a farm, they're making a decision to protect that land permanently and to essentially uh, ensure that that property will be available for agricultural purposes forever. We did it much more for the, the idea of, of, of conservation, of perpetuating something that's been developed, built up here. And we're lucky to have a lucky that the, the, the land trusts make it possible to engage in these transactions. The Richardson family is a very special group of people that have contributed a lot to their community. They're very engaged in their community, and uh, the land resource and the people are sort of inextricably connected. Yeah. Is it one percent or two percent of the population are farmers? I think now very few. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you get people are pretty far removed from the land when they used to be just a few generations. Conserving the farm is strengthening the family, it's strengthening the community, and, and then in the future that land will give back so that um, it just makes the whole community stronger. You're always working with your family. You're perpetuating something that, that essentially was given to you, right? And making it better, trying to preserve it and improve it. To watch these people think about this over a period of 10 years, 15 years, and then finally realize the conservation of their farm and have the peace of mind of knowing that now it's going to be intact forever is hugely rewarding. I mean, they're, and they are just the, the, they're just wonderful people. They do a lot in their community um, and they take really good care of their land. They're a dairy of distinction. Um, have received all sorts of uh, statewide recognition. They just take a lot of initiative to do good things, good works in their community. We start out by milking the cows in the morning. And I would say that when, when I was younger, at least, the chores were not considered as part as as part of the day's work. It's just something you had to do. It's kind of like brushing your teeth. Well, the chores chore meaning milking. Yeah. Chores is milking. Chores That's is milking called. and cleaning up the cleaning out the cows and stuff and feeding the cows. That's not that was just chores, you get that out of the way and then you can do your day's work. It isn't really a job, so I don't know whether they're favorite. Well, I always like to work. To choose favorite. You know, a, lot, a lot of people don't like to work. They do it because they have to, but I really enjoy working. So that's, that's good. That's, that's a sense of accomplishment when you, when you do stuff for yourself. You know, if you fail, you it's, it's just you. Your fault. So well, we're going to start over. Yeah. But if you succeed, it's uh, it's rewarding. I yeah. Guess. He made a comment that surprised me a little bit. He was talking about how he would have liked to have seen the Connecticut River Valley 200 years ago, and he said, "I would have loved to see all that floodplain forest." And and I thought he was going to say something about productive bottomland because he's a farmer. And instead he said, I wish I could have just put my arms all around it and just kept it exactly the way it was.